Yes, sir. Welcome back. I'm the Dash and Trader. On this channel, we show you how, how to maximize with gig apps. I show you my experiences, what goes on in my life every day. And today, we're picking up a Walmart Spark order, guys. I just grabbed a Walmart Spark order. Now, look, before y'all bash me and say, why the hell did you accept that? You know, it's $40. Hold on. Let me pull up my screenshots right now. $40.52. 37.3 miles like it's just barely one to one miles money ratio so that right there is already winning and then it's only nine orders normally when i get an order that's this dollar amount and those amount of miles usually i see about 10 to 17 stops and this one is only nine i just started my day we got a 40 dollar order now on this channel we like to set goals we like to try to hit them motivate people so they can you know hit their goals and show you it's attainable out here in this gig economy how you liking my button up you know what I'm, I'm trying to change it up i usually keep it casual but i'm like you know what i'm about business right now so i need to go ahead and dress appropriately now with this order that's gonna put me almost halfway to my daily goal right there I'm going to go ahead and throw in a couple slides right here of me dropping off a couple of these first Walmart Spark orders. You know, as you can see, first couple orders, we got one item orders. I mean, it's not even like it's a lot of bags. So sometimes where when you have single Walmart Spark orders, you may have to carry a lot of bags up to an apartment, right? But when you pick up these big, bigger batch orders where it's more stops, you see I'm just dropping off one item here, one item there, boom, and I'm keeping it moving. But here's the best part. I didn't turn down Uber Eats on my other phone. Look at that. It's going off right now. I'm going to go ahead and resume it. Boom. And I'm, 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 I'm completing Uber Eats orders while I'm dropping off these nine orders. So as you're going to see here, I'm going to try to see if I can get an Uber Eats order. And once that one comes in, we're going to do that in conjunction with this Walmart Spark order we got. Exactly what I'm talking about. Just got hit with a Starbucks order. $11.62. 3.7 miles. Pop a screenshot up right there. And on the way in route, that order right there alone gonna bring me up to a fifty dollar hour. Now it may take me a little bit longer than an hour to get all these nine spark orders dropped off and an additional Starbucks order. No biggie, fifty bucks. But guess what? I got hit with this order next. Nine dollars fifty cents. I add on at Starbucks too at that. So it's not even like it's an add on taking me to another spot. Mo added distance. No, at the same spot. Zero additional miles, now, an additional 954, an additional zero miles is basically free money. So now I just got an extra $20 on top of what I already accepted on Walmart Spark. So now this is $60. Will it take me one hour to complete it? Probably not. Maybe somewhere between one and two hours. But guess what? It, even if I get it done in two hours, that's still 60 bucks, two hours, 30 bucks an hour. This is what I'm saying. Like I usually hit 25, 30 bucks an hour. Sometimes I hit 40 and 50 bucks an hour. Let's just see exactly how long it takes me to get all 11 of these orders dropped off. First Uber Eats Starbucks order got it dropped off. Next one is zero miles away. Literally right around the corner for this next one. Didn't even have to go a hundred yards. Let's go. Ooh, look at the driveway on this one. Long driveway. Look at that. Just got a little Dairy Queen order. Eight dollars, two miles. I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out. I got four more Walmart Spark orders to do, so I might as well add that in. It's two miles and it's heading in the direction I'm already going. That's how you maximize right there. Hundred dollars is the goal. Let's get it. Yes, sir. The time is now 5.30. I've been out for exactly two hours. I got one more Walmart Spark delivery, and all nine of those are done. And I just got an Uber order that I'm about to stack it with. $7. I think it said two miles or three miles. I can't remember what it said. Look, I'm going to throw the screenshot up right here. You can take a look at it. Let me know if that's a good order or not. But it really don't matter because, look, two hours in, I'm going to be at $80 after I get done with this crisp and green order. And that order was ready to go. Come on, man. Stop playing with me. Had to go ahead and stop at Chipotle. Or not Chipotle, Qdoba. Get me one of them surfing turf bowls they got. It's got shrimp, guacamole, black beans, some steak. You know I had to get that pico de gallo. I don't be playing. I hit it with the white rice. So I'm eating for lunch today. And check this out. My next order, we're going to be checking in at Panda Express. I just got done eating my lunch slash dinner for the evening. It was quite delicious. And I'm pretty dang full. What's this, 950 for 2.6 miles on Walmart's Park? That order right there will put me over my $100 goal, but I already accepted this Panda Express order, so we're gonna head over to Panda and see if they got it ready. But even if they don't, that's okay, because I'm so close to my goal that I can go home really at any time. But 
I'm going to make sure that I hit that 100 because I know it's order still out here. It's 6.30. We hit the three-hour mark. So three hours in, I got a couple more hidden tips came through on Uber. I made 85 bucks, right? Just got a $10 order. That's going to put me at 95 So we in good shape. $95 is pretty much my daily goal. $100. $5 shy. I'm not going to be mad. But we probably going to get another order to keep them wheels rolling. Go ahead, call it $100 for the shift and show you that even when you don't even want to or don't even have to, you can still hit that goal. Minor miscalculation. I thought I was at 95 bucks already. Maybe I got tip rated. Maybe I was just adding up my math wrong. But look, I got my next order already. Gonna throw up a screenshot right now. $11 and something for three miles. And right here is Slim Chickens. Right over with. Just got that Slim Chickens dropped off and that's gonna be my last order tonight. Waiting on two tips to come in on Uber Eats. And even without those two tips, we sitting at 60 bucks on Uber. Actually, it's $58.61 and 40 bucks on Walmart Spark. But that's $100 right there. The two hidden tips I'm waiting on, I know for sure they going up by five bucks a piece. That's $10. And it's a potential for even more. But just with that right there, what I got at face value, that's $100. I hit my goal. I've been out here for four hours, 24 bucks an hour. I stopped for like 30 minutes and ate some lunch. And I also was messing around, editing videos, and this is the beauty of being a gig worker. Got my $100 goal accomplished, got some extra work done on the side, was able to listen to what I want to listen to, you know what I'm saying, watch whatever YouTube videos I want to watch, edit some videos all while working, all while hitting my goals, all while chasing my dreams. Because what I'm doing, I'm not doing this just to pay no bills, I'm doing this so I don't have to do nothing I don't have to work hard in the future. So that's what it's all about. Maximizing, setting goals, hitting those goals. And even if you don't hitting them, staying motivated to go out there and get it again tomorrow. Let me know in the comments below. What do you use to motivate you to make sure you get out there and hit your goals every day and make sure you keep on setting goals? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll catch you in the next one.